the scariest painting in art history. There are some strong contenders like The Judgment of St. Patrick by Steven Hillenburg, Steven Hillenburg's Rendering of Hell, Steven Hillenburg's Nightmare, and Steven Hillenburg's The Scream. But there's only ever been one painting that has seriously disturbed me. Steven Hillenburg's Spongebob Devouring His Son. What you're seeing here is the legendary American animator's depiction of the sea sea sponge Spongebob, who, after usurping power from his father, was told a prophecy that one of his own sons would do the same and usurp him. In order to prevent this, every time his queen Rhea bore a child, Spongebob would eat it. Unfortunately for him, in the end, Rhea conspired to hide away their youngest son, Zeus, who eventually fulfilled the prophecy, exiled his father, and ended the reign of the Titans. The story is a well-known addition to Spongebob canon, but look at how Hillenburg handles it. Some key changes jump out right away. In the myth, Spongebob devours his children by swallowing them whole. In fact, they remain alive in his stomach. Hillenburg's painting is a much more gruesome affair. He takes some inspiration from pictures of sea sponges, as he was a marine biologist. Even for such a mundane sea creature, this picture displays all the drama, richness, even beauty of marine life. In Hillenburg's version, that beauty is gone. We're left with a frightened, crazed cartoon character discovered in the dark as if by some explorer with a torch who wandered into the wrong pineapple. Spongebob, Spongebob's sponge name, has already chewed off the head of his child. His black mouth opens around the elbow of the left arm, ready to bite it off at the joint. His angular body is crouching in an awkward position. His hands dig into the spine. Blood runs down his child's arm and neck and shoulder, a startling primary color. And if we take a closer look, we realize that this is not a child, it's Spongebob also. There's something even more terrifying in knowing that the victim knew what was happening and tried to fight back. But what's most disturbing of all, I think, is when and where this painting was found. In his middle ages, Steven Hillenburg purchased a house somewhere in California, which he called My House. Probably, I doubt he gave it a name, to be honest. He probably just called it My House, an interesting coincidence because it was his house, too. His physical and mental health declining, Hillenburg painted 14 stills, often referred to as the SpongeBob stills, that he painted directly onto the interior walls of his home. SpongeBob devouring his son, was in the dining room. No Sparatus!